Hello and welcome back to another video. This is Radiji on the Japanese Sega Dreamcast. Very interesting vertically scrolling shoot em up. Now, it's a bit of a weird setup I've got going on here because I've got the microphone on the floor and I've got the web camera actually resting on the arcade stick. So I'm definitely going to have to proceed with caution. Three different craft to choose from. My main inspiration for starting to play this game is actually the fact that I was bidding on this on eBay about I don't know, an hour ago. Didn't win. One of those annoying sort of moments when you try to snipe in the last few seconds and of course the automated bid knocks you out of the proceedings. So it, it almost seems like you're lost by, I don't know, you know, a pound, but I'm sure it would have escalated much further if I'd have tried. I think the bid before me was 25, I put 3088 and it went to 3188. So I kind of wish I hadn't chosen this character with the bubbles now. Just, I'm, I'm not a fan of bubbles, I've got to admit. Not into the idea here. Yeah. Just seems silly. I'm more of a laser kind of guy. I can't cope. I can't cope. I've got to have lasers. I'm not playing with bubbles. Forget it. I suppose a good time to check if the camera is still on the arcade stick, which it appears to be. But we've been through all this, we're not interested. Take me to the game. Take me to your dealer. Here we go. That's better. Skip button, what's the skip button? Is that the skip button? Yeah. It's quite weird, you kind of get an email or something. So very similar graphical style to that Carus. I believe it's the same developer or same publisher. One or the other, maybe both. Either way, I'm a little bit devastated in the minute on eBay because this is the kind of game that I would have grown to enjoy. Quite a fun of the soundtrack, very upbeat and funky, quite fresh. I mean, I suppose it's standard sort of shooting up fair. I do like this kind of thing, and I, I feel like some of these ones on the Dreamcast are a little bit more laid back than later games, you know, especially things from Cave and the like. You know, it's more, a little bit more of an experience than a hardcore shooting game, I suppose, certainly initially. Now, this really confused me. I suppose it's the Japanese, but the, the collectibles here, you know, they range from anything from Knickerbocker Glories to a pair of slippers. It's, it's very strange. Now you've also got the sword mechanic that seems to be popular in these kind of games. First time I ever seen it was in Radiant Silver Gun, but I have experienced it a few times on the Dreamcast. I'm not sure if that was a lemon sorbet there. That looked like a chicken stick, an alarm clock. You get the idea, it's a bit random. I still can't believe that the camera is resting on the arcade stick. You, probably, you can't get any more you know, closer to the action, to be honest. It's very much a point of view. But it's also got this sort of uh, I don't know, protective ring you can activate. We end up with the bonus points. going somewhere. I'm not sure where they're going. So it's saying I've got an email. I bet there's a button you can press for that, yeah. I mean, I don't speak Japanese or even read Japanese, so it's completely meaningless to me. Well, yeah, congratulations to the person who won this. £31.88 plus £1.27 postage. There'll be another time. For now, of course, I can always play the game if I want to. Oh, 
Now, I must say, when I actually buy a copy or something, I do seem to spend a bit of time getting into it. The two vertically scrolling shooting ups I've got for the Dreamcast. I'll put some considerable hours into at this point. So there we go, first level done. So here we are. And it's kind of like the polar opposite of Carus, which is very like, you know, sort of uh, dull colours, you know, blacks, whites, and this is quite colourful. I wouldn't mind owning both, to be honest. I suppose while we're here, I could tell you about my GDMU story. This is a little bit heartbreaking, actually. For probably the last six months or so, I've been following the GDMU, which is basically a replacement for the CD-ROM drive or the GD-ROM drive on the Dreamcast so you can use you know, files off a memory stick and it's actually a two part story there was one on eBay for £150 buying our best offer I sent an offer across of £100 the seller didn't get back to me so I contacted him and said any chance of a response and he sent me an offer of £120 now at the time I was pretty wet behind the ears when it comes to the GDEMU so I wasn't aware of its popularity and the amount of demand that it uh, created. And so I didn't accept the 120. I tried to give another offer of 110 and somebody else bought the GDMU. Rightly so, for 150 may I add. And fair play, you know, I didn't know what I was dealing with at that time. So after that on eBay, they were going for like 300 quid, so I didn't bother. So I kept an eye on the official site every single day for about the last three or four months. I've checked that site, got up my phone, straight to the home page. So about two weeks ago, come on, yeah, I'm going to open pre-orders again. Thought, okay, I know it's in high demand. It's going to be difficult to get one, but I'll do my best. So it said it was going to be on Saturday. The guys from Poland, I looked at the time difference. I thought it would probably be about Saturday morning, early Saturday morning here in the UK when he does it. You know, maybe silly early, like five, six in the morning here. So I basically could barely sleep on Friday night. I kept waking up every hour or so, refreshing the page on my phone, seeing if it was open yet. Still wasn't. I woke up in the morning, silly o'clock really, probably about half six. Just kept refreshing my phone. Got to about half eight and I thought, you know, I'm doing my own editing here. Starting to, you know, get on top of me, this is. So I thought, what I'll do is I'll go food shopping. Uh, it's obviously not going to be straight away. And I'll come back later and I'll spend the rest of the day devoted to refreshing the page and make sure I get one. So I got in the van, went food shopping. Just when I got to the supermarket, my phone was beeping. I looked at it and it said GDM EMU orders now open. I've got an update to so subscribe to the page. I quickly clicked onto it. At that point, it said orders were still open. I clicked onto that page, tried to put in my details. It wasn't having it and uh, pre orders were closed. So if I just stayed at home another 10 minutes, I would have been able to pre order one. So that was uh, pretty frustrating, although I guess a lesson learnt. Just one of those things, really. Whether I'll be a big fan of it when I've actually got it, is, it remains to be seen, but I've got plenty of Dreamcast, so it's not really a problem installing it in one of them. Like I said earlier, I do tend to find if I've actually got the game, I'll spend more time playing it. Probably just like, you know, a strange thing, like a, a mental thing, if you like. But, uh, there's this shield thing might come in handy right now. That was only a mid mid level boss for the looks of things. A lot of round circles coming at me. Wow, a lot. I've got in trouble there. Should I be using the sword more? Lord of the sword. 
Yeah, I'll get a GDEM new at some point. The guy who makes them is on about getting someone to help him, so maybe we'll be able to keep the pre-orders open for like 25 minutes in the future or something. I don't know. Frustrating, but I'm not going to let it get on top of me. I've got plenty to be sinking my teeth into. Really have. Still got quite a lot of Dreamcast games that I've bought and not really give that much time to yet. But we'll get there. No doubt about that. So the music's getting a little bit more upbeat now. So once again I'm playing on the JVC 14 inch high resolution monitor, 750 lines, very crisp image I have to say, really impressed with this monitor, I know it's only 14 inch, ideally I'd like another 20 inch one to put in tape mode but the price of these things nowadays, I think the JVCs are a bit of a no brainer, if you're looking at doing something similar, I know they're only S video but I think if you just look past that, it's really not an issue. And if you think about it, when you're dealing with a professional monitor, you know, you've probably got quite a lot of processing power here. And that's how I'm not disappointed in the slightest. It's a really nice picture. Really nice. I'd probably say that this is giving me the impression that having a Sony BVM perhaps be a little bit too sharp and quite well if it's got the B, uh, PVM with 600 lines, you know, somewhere in between I think. This monitor is, is a little bit sharp, perhaps a little bit too crisp, it kind of, I think on the older stuff perhaps makes it seem a little bit too, I'm not sure. A little bit too clear, I think. But uh, for virtue scroll and shoot 'em ups, it's awesome. So uh, that's it for now. I'll leave it there. The video's gone on for long enough. Computer safety needs a restart. Hopefully, that's not uh, interfered with this in any way. But uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, upload some more soon.